Hi there, welcome to another video and today's video I want to go into a bag that carried a shotgun in so let's go ahead and check that out. Okay, so if you watched some previous videos, you may have seen I recently purchased a shotgun and here it is. This is the VRP A40 from RIA Imports. Let's try to swivel it around without breaking anything. And here's the shotgun. Just wanted to show here that it's unloaded. There's nothing in it. We're gonna just talk about the bag here, not about the shotgun right now. So we're gonna set this aside for the moment. And we're gonna go ahead and check out that bag, right? So here's the bag. And uh, if you're looking at the top video here, if I'm able to capture that in the video, you may see that the bag is a little bit shorter than the shotgun. And why is that? Uh, that is because, as I may have mentioned in a previous video, I want to get a dual case. A hard case that will hold the shotgun and the rifle, so I can carry that around both in just one box. But that is very expensive and that is where this bag comes in this bag cost me $26 free shipping and uh, I will show you how I'm going to plan to carry the shotgun in this bag going forward until I am able to purchase the box that I want to use to carry both of them in one single place so let's go ahead and get into this I'll show the item information the price and all that so you can go ahead and check it out if you're interested in something like this okay and here we go there is the item information from eBay I'll give you the information in a moment and it says 36 inch tactical carbine rifle range gun case double shoulder padded backpack bag that's everything that's in the name there and uh, yeah um, this particular item is what I got here in black there's a few different colors but I did want to get the black I always like to buy this type of things in black so if we're gonna get into this Let's get that out of the plastic. Check out the bag. Yeah, the quality of the bag seems to be very good. The material is very good. Has some good velcros there. A lot of straps here. Carry handle up here. Zippered pockets. More straps. Pretty neat. Extra clips there. The zippers. Okay, that kind of got stuck there, but it moved around now. The zippers are big. They're made of plastic that's cheap metal, but it feels okay. Doesn't feel like it's gonna break easily. And this is not something that you're gonna be treating badly to open and put stuff in it so I think that's okay there's a top pocket two velcros inside here's the main pocket and this it's extendable so if you want to put something that's longer in here there you go that'll actually fit the rifle right so that's good but this is conspicuous I don't like that I want to get something inconspicuous to carry the rifle around on the motorcycle so if I put this on the motorcycle that's not gonna fly so what the plan I have, let's turn this back around, close this up, I'll show you in a minute, and I think you may have thought about it already, I'm going to take it apart and carry split. So here's the handle, clips, backpack strap, it also have the front strap here to hold it in place here, that makes it more comfortable to carry, especially if you're carrying around something heavier. There's an ID patch here or ID pocket, which is Velcroed. Um, it's a bit, you know, the plastic here is outside a bit. 
So quality control on this part was not too good. The seams of the sewing here are kind of twisted or crooked. And yeah, that, not a big deal for me actually. Um, I just got this for a temporary solution to be able to carry the shotgun around. There's a pocket on the back here that, wow, that goes all the way down there to the top as well. Yeah. So yeah, there's a lot of storage back here. Pretty nice. Pieces of thread. Okay, and I think, I think I'm happy with the bag. It's really good quality. Seems to be really good quality. It's uh, not waterproof, but it does have this umbrella type covering on the inside, which make it a little bit maybe water resistant. So if you're carrying something and you get on a light little rainy, rainy day, um, you should not damage what's inside, especially considering you're carrying a gun around. It may get a lot of rust if it gets wet, right? So it's good that the material is that type of quality material. So this I'm gonna turn around here. And what I'm gonna do here, I'm gonna take this apart and we're gonna see if it fits in two parts in that bag there. That is how I wanna carry it because that way the bag is just this and I don't have to extend it or anything. And obviously when you get to the range, just put it back together and you use it. And I think that's a good way to do this for the moment, for it to be less conspicuous than having that real long bag or having the bag with the extended part out. So I'm not gonna go into taking this thing apart. Give me a moment so I can take it apart and we'll try it on in the bag. Okay, so here we go, wrapped up the barrel. And here is the stock part. So let's go ahead and see if it fits as I thought it would fit, and hopefully it does. The main part would be I'm really hoping this fits because I already bought this and I can't return it. Wow. <laughs> that that is cutting it closer, but it does fit. Yes. Okay, so that's part one of the plan. Shotgun is in the bag half of it though so okay so now comes the other part and it's to see if the barrel fits in this front pocket although as i looked at it i'm pretty sure the barrel also fit inside the main pocket so if it doesn't fit here it's not really a problem i can always accommodate inside the main pocket but this way i would keep it separate from the actual other part of the shotgun and it'll make it safer to travel with because I won't be scratching it a lot. And even though I know these are going to get dings and bangs and hidden scratches, um, the less I do that myself, the better. I'll let it be happen in the range or whatever when I'm using it. But just by carrying around, it's not fun. But there it goes. It's in there. So we can close this up, right? Here we go. Yep. Then we could clip these here and there we have it shotgun is in the bag yeah I was a little bit scared I will say I wasn't but it did fit and I'm happy with it I will be able to carry this on the motorcycle and I'll just put the other bag which is for the rifle on top or underneath this one and it'll be a little bit less conspicuous than having a longer bag that is obviously for a gun, a rifle, shotgun, or whatever. I think this can be thought about as an instrument, a musical instrument or something. So yeah, people that don't really know about guns won't really think about this as a shotgun in a bag, won't they? So yeah, I'm happy with this product. I'll give you the information. I'll try to paste a link in the description. If not, 
using the terms I just gave you on the video here, you should be able to find this particular item and the prices may vary. You may search for it wherever you like, Amazon, Wish, wherever you want to do with it. I got this one particularly from eBay. Most of my purchases are from eBay. So yeah, this is the carry bag for shotgun and rifles, 36 inch expandable. As you can see, if you don't mind to have that little tip coming out of the prop, that's good for you. You can use it as well and you could put a longer shotgun or rifle in here without any problem. So yeah, that's about it for the video. I'm very happy with the product. I'm also happy that I can take the shotgun to the range now because I wasn't able to take it before because I didn't have how to carry it. But now for $26 plus taxes and whatnot, I'm able to carry the shotgun to the range without a problem. So yeah, hopefully I can make a video of me using this shotgun for the first time pretty soon because at the moment I have not shot this particular shotgun. I don't even have ammo for it yet. I'm going to purchase some ammo. I'm going to figure out when I can go to the range and I'll go out there and have some fun with this shotgun. Thank you for watching. I'll tell you in the next video. Take care and be safe.